Hey guys, what's up? It's Dave the Obscanser here. So, Carnival has released a mobile operating system called Ubuntu Touch. Now, the goal of the operating system is to achieve the desktop Ubuntu on the mobile interface. Now, it's more than that. Conical wants you to be able to use your mobile phone as a smartphone, of course, but then mount it and get the full desktop Ubuntu experience powered all by your smartphone. It's a pretty neat concept, a little hard to explain, but it's a pretty awesome neat concept. Now, they have released a pre-alpha alpha image that is for developer preview and you can download and flash your Nexus devices to try it out. However, the cool thing is that some developers from xcadevelopers.com have taken that and ported it to various devices. So with that, I want to show you the kind of features that you can find in Ubuntu Touch along with the quirkiness and just the overall navigation how it works. So let's get this started. Open source gangster, hey! Touch it like you never touched it before. Ubuntu Touch is a new player in the game and is here to make an unforgettable impression. First and foremost, there are no physical nor virtual navigation keys on Ubuntu Touch. The whole system is based off of swipe gestures. You swipe one way to get to the app you want, another way to get to your home screen. Your home screen is composed of your running apps in addition to your favorite contacts, music, and videos. Rather than a conventional app launcher, you have a Unity style launcher that allows you to swipe to one side to open any apps. Now, let me say this again that this is a demo OS. Therefore, a lot of the information you see is fake, and none of the apps really open to anything. However, some built-in apps such as Notepad function very well. As far as the settings, you swipe to the top to get into the settings area. There, you can access quick toggles and unlike, sort of like Android. Honestly, I think you to touch as far as right now is a nice idea, but nothing more. Until I see a phone running to finish software, it will be very hard to say otherwise. The challenge Conigo is going to face is bringing developers to this platform. A good thing though, is that Ubuntu Touch supports HTML5. Therefore, some of your favorite web apps such as Facebook, Twitter, and Evernote will be supported. What I admire about Ubuntu Touch though is that it's elegant and sophisticated. It's like having a simple UI like Windows Metro combined with the app notification drawer of Android. And there you have it, Ubuntu Touch. If you want to see more images, check out my Facebook page for the uploads. If you want to grab your hands on a demo version of Ubuntu Touch, and you're running Galaxy S3 or a Nexus device, head over to XA Developers and search for a port. Thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.